Hello Internet, it is Thursday, February 7th. Welcome back to the vlog. Uh, so today I went to the doctor, like you're supposed to do about once a year, just to make sure that everything is, you know, moving correctly in there. And while I was there, I had two blood draws taken just to check some levels of some things. It happens every time I go into the doctor, so it's nothing new. Uh, although I have to say that the guy I got at the lab made me do the relaxed arm instead of the clutching that little ball thing. Uh, which makes it hurt a lot more. Uh, and then I got two shots. One of them was a... Okay, so I guess when you're a grown-up, they don't call them booster shots anymore. They called it a... I have a sheet. They wrote it down. Uh, a T-DAP, which is like tetanus and a couple other things booster shot, like uh, in, in this arm. And it hurt, because <laughs> uh, the arms, they're not so meaty. Uh, and then in this arm, I got a flu shot. I don't usually get a flu shot. I usually forget to ask for the flu shot when I'm at the yearly doctor visits. And then, you know, I know that you can go into like any pharmacy anywhere and get them for like 20 bucks, but I always talk myself out of it. Uh, before you freak out, that's the cat. <laughs> uh, just in case you thought we were haunted. Uh, anyway, I don't usually get the flu shot because it's like 20 bucks and I work from home and have very limited interaction with the public at large so why would I spend money on something that I hopefully won't need but you know I was at the doctor's out I was at the doctor's office and was all like yeah healthness let's you know protect me from the flu for a year woo and so I got the flu shot in this arm and they tell you they they send you one of those sheet things that is all, yeah, you're probably going to have flu-like symptoms for a couple of days after, I have to stop bumping the table, after you get your shot. And I had heard this before, and I have seen it on Twitter, people complaining about going in to get a flu shot, and then feeling like crap for days afterwards. And it always kind of struck me as odd, like, if the flu shot is supposed to keep you from getting the flu, why does it give you the flu? Like, why can't you just go out and let someone sneeze on you for free, and get the flu that way, and then get over it for the year? It, Whatever. I ended up with a flu shot. Uh, and I always thought that the whole, you know, oh yeah, flu-like symptoms thing was kind of blown out of proportion. Because I thought, you know, maybe maybe they just don't get sick very often, and so they're not used to what having the flu really feels like. And um, I have to say, I am, I am not a fan of the flu shot. Uh, a couple hours after I got it, I was on my way home, and I started noticing kind of a sniffly thing happening, and kind of a achiness happening as I was waiting for the bus, and I figured, you know, that's probably because I've been running around all day, and I, you know, don't do that a lot, so, you know, it's, it's environmental. But now, I've been home for a few hours, and in addition to having very, very sore arms from the shots, I do not feel well. I, I feel like I have the flu. <coughs> Which was not staged, that's an actual thing. Uh, and, excuse me, by the way, and, and, I, I, I don't like it. <laughs> I was perfectly healthy this morning when I left the house and I went to the doctor and got sick. Or not. I guess these are supposed to go away in a day or two, according to my, you know, handy sheet. You know, kind of like the regular flu. But whatever. So that's my experience getting a flu shot. I have to say I'm probably not going to repeat it next year. And I cannot in good conscience tell you not to get one, because maybe it will work for you. And maybe it'll work for me too, it just has a sucky beginning. You know, like a lot of movies. Anyway, I'm going to go. Have a really great weekend. I can't think of anything else that I want to make sure that you know about before I sign off, so I'm just going to sign off and say that I will see you on Tuesday. Have a great Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and, and Monday, and I will be back in a few days. Thanks, as always, for watching. I really appreciate it. See you later.